One Piece. Wow. Now, honestly, I, I want to hop in because I really want to see what's going on with Flamingo. Is Flamingo actually defeated? Is the birdcage still activated? Is it not activated? I assume it is because of the whole Smile Factory thing, but I don't know. Either way, you have this cover page right here. Apparently, we've gone away from the Jean Bay cover story, which I don't care about at all. I hide out that you do. And then you have this like mock fight between Luffy and Law. Luffy's trying to feed Law bread with some other monkey. <laughs> and because Law's not a fan of bread. I mean, that means that Law's not a fan of burgers. There's a problem. Oh, there's a big problem. Either way, let me just move on with the chapter itself. Uh, Gots. Oh. Hmm. Yo, 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 yo. Ah, okay. All right. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. Now I think about it, wouldn't Luffy's color tone for Gear 4th be something like this? Because he does have the Gear 2nd while Arm and Hockey is activated to contain the muscle expansion for the Bowman form. So I think that's actually very appropriate. Like, it just can't be black. I think. And now we're on the chapter. And there's a hole in the mountain right here. This is where he got Leo bazooka Don Quixote do Flamingo. Listen, right here. I'm, I'm telling you. Right here, you see on the, on the side? Boom. Birdcage is still activated on the side. F he's not done yet. Flamingo is not done yet. The birdcage is still on. It's it's still there. So, if it if he was knocked out, it would be gone. And the Flamingo is in there. And the citizens cheer Monkey D. Leaf hat. I heard he was an 8 meter giant. This guy is at best four meter. Like, <laughs> and Luke was like, where are you guys hearing this shit from? Like, who tells you these stories? Like, you see his bounty. You see his photo with the whole, yeah, and Usopp behind him. So, I'm not seeing an eight meter giant in that particular photo. So, the rumors of Monkey D are vast. And he can't stop bouncing. Such power. Hell will freeze over before Don Flamingo stands up after that. But he will. The bird, look above you, Cavendish. The birdcage is still there. Flamingo will stand up. He will rise once again. Now we can see why Virgo was so damn durable. He learned all that shit from his captain. Oh, captain, my captain. He got a lot of Captain Morgan in his ass. That's for damn sure. Oh, Luffy and Law are looking at the sky. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yep, birdcage still there. Damn it. Flamingo in the hole. You know he's still kicking. Birdcage hasn't disappeared yet. Luffy, Law, simultaneously. Fuck. This is still continuing. Flamingo, I, I, I told you, Flamingo has a lot of Captain Morgan up his ass. The dude is sturdy. Real sturdy. He ain't going down that easy. Granted, Leo Bazooka very proper attack, but no, no. Flamingo, he's been taking blows for days. More is required to actually knock out the dude. Or... Maybe because he's awakened, the birdcage is independent. I don't know. So, because he's just in the hole, like, 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 night night. So, he's, that's what he looks. But he could be either buying his time for something, he can't move because of the attack that he just took, or the birdcage is independent because he's awakened. So, let's see how that rolls out. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just like, 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 like you would think he'd be just gone. Gone. Dove is gone. He's gone. Luffy going in for one more shot. Flamingo not moving. Still not moving. And Luffy, no. Oh, no. Backlash. The time limit is up. The Fusin is gone. And Monkey D hits the side of the mountain. Thud. Just laying there. Yeah, he just laying there. Wheezing. Wow, Gear 4th really takes a toll on his body. He won't stop wheezing. And as far as I can see, there's no immediate backlash. And Burgess! Oh no! <laughs> Burgess! Okay, what is he doing? Uh, now he's on the- and, and he's bouncing around. Look, 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 look at Burgess. Just look at Burgess. Look, look, look at that. Like he, like, he was waiting for this moment. That strap bastard's run on fumes. Just you wait. I'm gonna kill him, then steal it. His Gomu Gomu no- What? Wait, wait. What? Why? The Gomu Gomu no Mi is not like a powerful devil by any standard. It's, that's what I would think. That, that's my assumption. Because uh, Blackbeard and Flamingo aren't allies anymore. Blackbeard's a Yonko, Flamingo is a Shichibu guy. So, if anything, Burgess should be gunning for Flamingo because he's seen Flamingo's prowess with his string powers, and those, I think, would be superior than Luffy's. But at the same time, Luffy did win. 
Well, maybe. Because we're not too sure yet. But Burgess, nonetheless, on the move. That's obviously an issue. I just realized. He was in, like, the palace. And then he jumped from, like, the palace to, like, the sunflower fields in, like, one hop. But it's like, wee! Like, that's what he did. Wee! And he just... Gone. So that was pretty cool. And Koala has to call in Sabo. Are we going to see Sabo versus Burgess Part 2? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. And the birdcage is still coming. <laughs> Where is Yo! Burgess! Oh, dude, this is strange. All right. We're just following Burgess now. Ha, ha, ha. He's just bounding. He's like a literal bound man. He's just leaping across mountains and shit. Look at this guy. He was on the sun... No, no, seriously. He was on, like, the sunflower fields. And he jumped... All the way from the top to the bottom in one bound. And look at this face. Oh no, this is the face of a serial rapist. Chris Hansen, where the fuck you at? Yo, where the fuck you at? We need you. Look at that face. Mm. Mm -mm. Luffy is really, really exhausted. And something's cracking. What? Okay, the basin, that whole plateau region of the mountain, gone. Just like cracked in. It, it, it's coming down. And all of a sudden, beneath that, Don Quixote, and he's looking squeaky clean. Like, like the entire time, Luffy was fighting a clone or some shit. Like, no, no. What? Luffy, okay, so like there's no, as far as I can tell, there's no like funny gag backlash. It's just Luffy being really exhausted and his body trembling and shaking. So clearly he can't control the gear for that well. I mean, at some point he will because he'll awaken. But right now, Flamingo, look at this, like Flamingo, he took a freaking Leo bazooka and he can still smile like that. Like, yeah, the air of smiles, motherfucker. The air of smiles ain't gone yet. We still got a hundred years left, bitch. <laughs> this is a long running era. We're going for a full on century. What the fuck? The 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 the, the Coliseum announcer. Uh oh, I forgot. Yeah, that guy's name is Gats. Oh, I forgot. Oh, really? So the title of the chapter is for this guy. This dude who would get like a massive heart on for like anything that would happen that was extraordinary in the arena. Well, we all did, even the ladies, but, but whatever, it's not the point. The point here is that this guy should be fodder tier. If this guy pulls out some like uber epic shit, like I don't, I, <laughs> I just don't know what to say. Like I'd be like, oh, okay, all right, all right, right okay, okay, uh, funky. Woo wee, yeah, whoa, yeah. Not feeling too hot right now. Offering his assistance to Monkey D. That is a severe backlash. And I quote, I need 10 minutes. After using Bowman for the next 10 minutes, I'm unable to use hockey. Call of Observation, Conquerors, Armaments. He can't use any hockey after using Bowman. Okay, so it's not the funniest backlash, obviously, but from my perspective, it is the most severe backlash that you see out of any of the gears. He can't use hockey, period. That's pretty intense. If I can just recover my hockey, I know I can finish him off with one final attack, an attack stronger than the Leo Bazooka. I don't know, like, dragon something. You know, you, you know, you know, you know, Midnight Dragon. Ah, Midnight, yeah. Dragon Gatling. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. see, that sounds nasty. Yeah, that sounds nasty. Gats, Guts, whatever the fuck his name is. He wants his word. Can you promise me? Come ten minutes, you'll end all of this. Birdcage, the whole damn thing. The whole shebang. Over. Done. You have my word. And he's like, alright, I got it. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do to stop or hold Flamingo, but Flamingo, he's... Shit, man. Flamingo is goddamn durable. My goodness! Alright, so what are you gonna do to stall Don Quixote? Who the fuck are these scrubs? Gladiators. Even the two chicks that were like always next to Gats, Guts, even they're wielding blades. What the fuck are you? You are all fodder. Flamingo's going to mow you down. He's gonna hockey up like, yeah, and then just fall. Like, night night. 
But then again, he is wounded. He is wounded. How wounded? I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, he's not 100%. So these were the gladiators that haven't already joined Luffy's side that wanted to. Oh, they were blinded by the gold. Yeah. Just, just look how confident Flamingo is. Like, you know some dudes are going to die right now. Flamingo just walking. Like, whatever. Like, all you guys are in my fucking way. You guys are scrubs. I'm a fucking warlord. Step the fuck down. And if you don't, your head's going to roll. You're going to get the Ors Jr. treatment. Just slice. Mm, done. And Gat's going to split up the party. Half of you come with me. Fucking Burgess. Fuck. Burgess is a goddamn cornerstone now. Are you fu He has a fucking big ass sword the size of fucking Luffy and Gats combined. Yo. We ha. Yo, Burgess is everywhere. Time to meet your maker, Straw Hat. Like, Burgess became a huge X Factor in all this. Holy shit. Okay, I didn't see that coming. It throws you off because, like, okay, so. Luffy, Flamingo, going at it for a few chapters, all of a sudden comes Burgess, with the wee ha -has, and then he's just bounding across the mountains and shit, and he's like, yeah, yeah, like, it's time to take out Luffy. I want his rubber powers, even though you know, okay, well, maybe you don't know for sure, but you would assume Flamingos would be better. That's just my assumption. But then at the same time, Flamingo, he is older, he has more experience with his powers, he's awakened, and so on and so forth, but you get my point here, you get my point. So, either way, Burgess, huge X-Factor, coming in there for the Gomu Gomu no Mi. And that's it. That's chapter, I think. No, it's not the chapter. Okay, okay, hold on. Burgess, get stun, knife at Luffy, coming down with the swing, Saba. Okay, alright, yeah. Yeah! Sabo coming in there, Burgess. Not that easy, motherfucker. Stand the fuck down. We're gonna go, you and me, one on one for the second time round. Okay, with the kick too. I remember Sabo was actually like running like up the mountain. I believe so. He was in that area, in that plateau region, I think. And he winds up where Burgess is, like on the spot. Like Luffy, I got you. Don't worry about it. Recover, take off Flamingo. Burgess, I'll hold him down. So that's how the chapter ends off appropriately. All right, now with Burgess looming over Luffy with the fucking huge ass sword. No, 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 no. Sabo, kick. Don't worry about it, Luffy. I got you. So, what this may lead to in the future, possibly, since Sabo is preventing Burgess from attaining the Gum Gum no Mi, this may lead to a direct conflict between Dragon and Blackbeard. And that's it. So, I didn't expect Burgess to be, like, the cornerstone of the goddamn chapter. Like, fucking Burgess. Alright, okay. So, I'll see you guys, guys later. Rate the video, comment, subscribe, as always. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day. <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. I really do.